My chess friends, AlphaZero has released a brand new version AlphaZero 19 at the start of its tournament play, the new AlphaZero with a maximum LO of 4500 performs like a chess king, today's video is going to be about AlphaZero and an awesome legendary game of mine. We must use time as a tool, not as a couch, Alpha started the game with d4, we have knight f6 knight f3, I didn't play the queen's pawn opening symmetrical variation, instead I followed my spielman book opening, you may think of playing d takes c5, but black can win back his pawn with the bishop, if g4 happen then play a5, 1600 elo rated player may play c3 but after pawn exchanges, knight c6 will target to the pawn, the queen can also arrive to the a5 if white tries to protect his structure. People who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do, so back to the position, we have d5, playing e6 or d6 are not the best move because b5 move occupies the queen side square followed by bishop e7 queen b6, so bishop g5 by king alpha 0, after a couple of moves later we have e4, now take a look on this pawn, capturing the pawn isn't the bad move, but white will successfully arrange some activity for the rook. You may think of winning the pawn but it will not create any serious damage for white, back to the position, we have a6 knight d2 d6 and a4, try to open up the file, so I expand the Hikaru pawn chain, e5, he tried to damage my pawn chain which is why I captured the pawn, I am up a pawn but after a4, alpha makes a nice strategy with knight a5 knight e4 bishop c4 to occupy this diagonal, where the rook can enter to this file to attack on my king side, and there is a nice tactical idea with e6, which will create serious troubles for my king position and f7 pawn. Wise men speak because they have something to say, fools because they have to say something, so here we have knight d7 knight to g5, my pieces are undeveloped and my king hasn't castled yet, so if you think to develop your position, let me show you the variation, then knight e4 will arrive, the queen has to run all the way back to b8, h5 bishop h6 takes takes, queen f3 to target it so f5, now alpha 0, will play daring move queen b3, sacrificing the knight, he will sacrifice the rook too. Rook takes h6 then d6 will kill your position, queen takes d6 then after king d8 knight e6 check will trap your king, you has to sacrifice the queen then the game will be in my hand. There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it, so back to the position, I played the best move e4, I just want to develop my pieces so soon as possible by sacrificing the pawn, so alpha 0 responded with bishop c4 to x-raying the pawn, queen takes b2 castle, here best move for me was to play knight e5 to target the bishop then play f5 but I missed it and played f5 first, so c6 by alpha, if you capture the pawn, let me show you the variation. d6 takes then he will sacrifice the knight, f takes e4. Queen d5 to create two big threats to the king and rook, a few moves later white will win the rook on a8, bishop takes a6 is coming, knight f7 check is an another logical move to consider, black will face positional disadvantages so back to the position, I played knight e5, c takes b4 and taking the b pawn isn't the best move because the rook will get the b file with a tempo, so g6 to develop the bishop, but alpha in time, strikes the king side with d6. He is trying to open up my king position completely to weaken these squares. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work, so I played bishop h6 to target the alpha zero's insane knights, he gets the opportunity to sacrifice the knight, takes queen d5 to give me a check on f7, if you dare to capture the knight, let me show you the variation, then d7 check will destroy you, Knight takes pawn will lead queen takes rook followed by bishop takes e6 which may cause checkmate in 5 moves, if king d8 then bishop will arrive on a6. Knight b6 queen b8, bishop takes pawn queen takes knight check, now if you play king d7 then it will be checkmate by bishop b5. Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak, courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen, so back to the position, we have rook b8 first, rook b1 to target it, here any player including Magnus Carlsen may think of saving the queen, let me show you the variation, but after b takes c5 the file will be open, rook takes rook then white will send his pawn on d7, you lose the game no matter what you play, let me show you the variations one by one, if bishop takes d7 happen then after queen a check. 
Bishop blocks takes and it will be a checkmate, so back to the position, here if you play knight takes d7 then queen f7 check will destroy you, king here then knight e6 will be a checkmate, so back to the current position, I didn't played something ordinary move like Magnus or you, I played the right move e6, knight takes e6, queen c3, this is coming so after knight takes c5 knight takes c4 we have rook e1 to target the pawn, the king position is completely lost for white. White can't prevent black attacks at all because my king is in the middle of the board, alpha zero play like a 5000 elo rated beast, he has improved his version to maintain his integrity, but I am stockfish, I will take revenge from him by checkmate him with only one pawn. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.